traffic edition of Sports on the Wheels. On your one and only station, Lagos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM. We are back on the block to serve you the biggest, the hottest, and the latest news from the ever-exciting world of sports. Let's check out the top stories. Super Eagles get Finidis pass mark despite defeat by Mali. Change of guard at NPFL sides. Aqua United and Doma United. And Djokovic sacks coach Ivan Isevic. I the French Open. It doesn't get bigger or better than this. Another breathtaking edition of your favorite sports show. And we're ready to take you on this exciting journey. The midfield dynamo. Aki and Miss Agola will say thank you so very much for joining us tonight. Aha! I get them before before, don't be proper to oh, If you get any glow line where you never link to your NIN, now your license be this sort of link up. So you don't go chop blocking. Yeah, so Nigerian Communication Commission, NCC, don't talk, say, if you don't link your NIN to your glow line, then go block your line. Um, you don't go get connection again. You don't go fit on your business on your phone again. You don't go fit call or receive call. Send SMS or even check your account balance. So, no lady and call you off. Oh. Die star 996 hash now. Or we can't go any applets or SIM registration agents when here you pass. Go link your NIN to your blue line and stay forever on. If you don't get NIN, just go to the nearest NIMC office to arrange your own. Remember, say, SIM registration now free of charge. Oh. Unlimited. Let's kick off by telling you that Mali put a spanner in the works of Inidi George's audition for the job of Nigeria coach on a permanent basis with a 2-0 win over the Super Eagles on Tuesday in Marrakesh, Morocco. But the former Ajax winger remains positive after two games while Rui, the mystics that caused them against Mali. The biggest of those mystics was arguably Chidozi Awazem's error, which handed El Milan Turi a gift early in the first half as he tried to play a low ball across goal with the opposition locking. The Atlanta striker needed no further invitation to purpose scoring in the first half for Mali. I think it was just a few mystics that cost us the match. It was not a bad game, good intensity. We created a couple of chances but did not score. And in a game like this, if you don't score and you make mystics, you will be punished. I'm happy with the way the boys played and it's quite positive. I would have loved a different result, but that was not the case. But the performance of the boys was commendable. The result was a big win for Mali, who are ranked 47th, well below Nigeria's 28th, and have to go back almost half a century for their last win over Nigeria. And Kenneth Omeru has claimed that the Super Eagles were unlucky in their defeat to the Eagles of Mali. I think we played a better second half. It wasn't a bad game. We just didn't take our chances and they scored two goals. Overall, I think we played a good game. The Super Eagles will now shift their attention to the June 2026 World Cup qualifiers against the Bafana Bafana of South Africa and Benin Republic. And turning attention right now to women's football, we can tell you that by Bayana, Bayana of South Africa coach Desri Ellis has said that players must be at their absolute best to overcome Nigeria's Super Falcons in the Paris 2024 Olympic playoffs. The winners over two legs will compete in Group C at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Bayana, Bayana assembled for Capi Pretoria on Monday, the 25th of March, and now their first training session on Tuesday. And Ellis was impressed by what she saw after the first training session. The Super Falcons will be hoping to make a first Olympic appearance since the 2008 Beijing Games. Quite a long time, you want to say. And turning attention right now to the Nigeria Professional Football League, where Aqua United have confirmed the appointment of Mohamed Babanganaru as their new head coach. The experienced tactician has been tasked with the responsibility of helping Aqua United escape relegation. Babanganaru will lead the promise keepers for the first time against Doma United on Sunday and in the same vein Doma United have also confirmed the appointment of Bala Abubakar as their new technical advisor. Abubakar will take the reign at the club with former handler Ake Ade Onigminde demoted to the position of head coach. The club took the decision following the Savannah Scorpions poor run in the second half of the season. And moving on, we can tell you that Ukraine's qualification for the Euro 2024 soccer finals has stirred a country suffering hardship in its conflict with Russia. And for a few weeks, 
votes in June and July, the parliament will provide a welcome distraction from the harsh reality of war. The thing came from behind to defeat Iceland 2-1 in the playoff final in neutral Poland and book a fourth successive appearance in the continental finals. They will be in Group E with Belgium, Slovakia and Romania who they face in their opening game in Munich on June 17. And we can tell you that Manchester City's Norway striker Ellen Allen is a transfer target for Barcelona in the summer of 2025. The 23-year-old's agent Rafael Pimenta met with Barcelona sports director Deco last month. Allen is the coveted player for Barcelona with Kylian Mbappe likely heading to Real Madrid. Let's tell you that another Manchester City defender has picked up an injury on international duty to add to Pep Guardiola's injury at the back ahead of Sunday's asthma clash. Can Walker put up on England's friendly defeat to Brazil at the weekend to spark concern at City with a massive tie looming large? John Stones also kept Guardiola sweating after he went off injured just minutes into England's 2 2 draw against Belgium on Tuesday night. Goalkeeper Ederson is also facing a late fitness test after suffering a tie injury in the one all draw with Liverpool and taking you right now to the camp of the Blues, French World Cup winner Frank Lebou has questioned the dead son for snobby William Saliba. The 23 year old has been one of Arsenal's leading stars this season with the Gunners in the running to win both the Premier League and Champions League. Saliba was left on the bench by the son from Francis 2 0 loss to Germany on Saturday. Lebou, who was teammates with the son when they lifted the World Cup at France 98, said that Saliba is the best defender in the world. And moving on, we can tell you that Ruth Van Nistelrooy is among the candidates being considered for the vacant manager's job at Club Bruch. The former Manchester United forward turned his eyes to coaching after his retirement in 2012 and enjoyed his most successful spell in the dugout during his time with PSV and Oven. The Redivisie Giants won both the Dutch Cup and Dutch Super Cup during his 10 months in charge before he sensationally stepped down last May after claiming that he did not have enough support within the club and straight away from the tennis court where Novak Djokovic has made a shock announcement on Instagram that he and longtime coach Goran Ivanisevic have ended their partnership after six years. Djokovic and the Croatian legend have proven to be one of the most potent player-coach duos in tennis history after a stunning dominant period that has earned the Serbians some 12 Grand Slam titles. While Djokovic already has 12 titles to his name, even the service's impact on his serve has been well documented, helping to sharpen a far from blunt tool to turn Djokovic from difficult to beat to at time invincible in the last few years. But Djokovic insisted that despite the up and down nature of their partnership and eventual split, their friendship remains rock solid. And finally, from the square drop of boxing, Alexander Six promoter has sensationally claimed there is no guarantee the Tyson Fury fight will happen. The historical disputed title decider has now been rescheduled to May 18 after he caught his parent to Fury altered the initial February 17th date. But Alex Grasso, who seeks promoter is skeptical of the first fight happening, let alone the contracted rematch. We all know that Tyson is not the one world's best rematcher and after he loses to Usyk in the first bout you cannot predict his behavior at all I have no guarantee that the first fight ever takes place the man has withdrawn four times in a row already come on and that's it tonight another mouth waffling edition of your favorite sports show on radio with the midfield dynamo Akiyemi Fagolago thank you so very much have a fantastic night and God bless you richly. And that was Akiemi Fablagon on today's uh, that's the video.